Simply learn. Your pace, your place. Lesson nine: Monitoring Scrum projects. Welcome to lesson nine of Simply Learn's Agile Scrum training program. In this lesson, we look at how we can monitor and control Scrum projects. It is important to note upfront that Scrum provides an inbuilt monitor and control mechanisms by mandating a demo review at the end of every sprint and the opportunity to correct course. Let us now begin with the agenda in the next slide. Agenda. We will now look at the detailed agenda for this lesson. We start off by setting up some first principles regarding monitoring of Scrum projects. Then we look at some common Scrum metrics with plenty of examples. We also look at a number of examples of metrics used in Scrum, and some best practices, do's and don'ts, around the use of the metrics. We shall talk about some of the common charts and graphs used in Scrum. This includes the burn-up and burn-down charts and other graphs. Lastly, we talk about information radiators, a concept that was originated in the Crystal family of methodologies. But one that can be very useful in Scrum as well. Now let us get introduced with monitoring Scrum projects in the next slide. Monitoring Scrum projects. Let us establish some common ground before diving into techniques or measures to monitor Scrum projects. First of all, it is important to understand that in Scrum, the team should ideally be managing its own progress. The Scrum Master or the Manager should not try to micromanage the team or interfere with this process. That said, the Scrum Master should try to provide visibility to the team about progress or lack of it, so that the team can make its own decisions. Common tracking mechanisms that are inbuilt into the methodology are daily stand-up meetings, where the entire team. Reports its progress to each other. Reviews and retrospectives. The fact that the team has to demo working software at the end of each iteration provides a lot of visibility into progress. If the team was not making sufficient progress, or if there was quality issues, this would become pretty obvious in the sprint review. The retrospective provides the team the opportunity to take all the feedback on board. And take corrective action.